photocopiers, the holy grail of the Chapakul YouTube channel. Such common items, almost everyone has one in their home, but nobody seems to know how they work. Photocopier. What? How does funny glowing line manage to take a perfect orthographic picture of any object? Wait, what? Scientists are still trying to figure out the answer, but to no avail. Well, luckily for you, thanks to years of experience photocopying random objects on YouTube, I think I can safely say that I am a qualified expert in this domain. And I still have no goddamn clue. But luckily for you again, today I am going on a quest to the depths of YouTube, where sweaty 40 year old men explain random things, so I can finally solve this mystery once and for all. Here we have our first video, Computer Basics, How Does a Photocopier Work? Video by Ihao. It's one of those old videos from like 2009, so it better be good. Let's take a look at the comments. <laughs> what? Mountain Gort? Okay, this is going to be a good video, I can tell. Let's start. How a photocopier works. Tell me well, about this basics. Once you put your image down on the glass and press the button, a scan, you know, basically a, a light element is going to run across the photo, or it's going to run across your image, photo, whatever it is, text. <laughs> and people are saying my photocopier um, is slow. And what that does, the paper's going to turn yellow by the time it finishes it's scanning. It's going to collect the results of that onto a special drum. If the light hits white paper, it's going to reflect back. If the white hit, if the light hits something else that's not basically white okay, paper nice. or a reflective surface, although I don't know why you would be trying to photocopy a mirror. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? Why would you want to photocopy a mirror? <laughs> Start a YouTube channel, of course. Why does my man have to insult me like this? I will never forgive you, Baldi. You hurt my feelings. Um, it's going to basically record that as, you know, it's going to do an exact copy instead of doing a photo like a photographic negative it produces a positive copy so it's du it's a direct duplicate it doesn't do like photography where it goes photo for what goes positive to negative then back to positive again once this image is the missile knows where it is by where knowing it where, it where it isn't collected onto the drum the drum passes over toner particles the particles are charged in such a way that they will stick to the areas that did not reflect light when they passed over the original image. Once the toner has adhered itself... Okay, I'm sorry, I, I need images. My millennial brain cannot comprehend this. My 20 seconds of attention span have run out. I'm sorry. Next video. All right, this looks better. What is this guy doing? <laughs> what? This is me. This is why it takes me three months to make a video. <laughs> I have to steal a photocopier every time. What is this guy doing? <laughs> this is what <laughs> Who is this? University of Illinois. Urbana Champagne. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I read that correctly, but <laughs> this is on the same level as Squidward Community College. <laughs> Wait, I actually want to look that up. I is it a real place? Is it real? Oh my god, they have a website. <laughs> what? Learn about our clarinet lessons. <laughs> Nice. Dive into our abstract clock. Uh, Why did I forget to read? I hope they can teach me to read at this college. Dive into our abstract art programs or find information on our dance program. Nice. Not. <laughs> oh my god, this picture. <laughs> Why is it funny? <laughs> Not currently living or located in the US? No worries. We have a 
programs in other countries that serve as a great opportunity for others interested in Squidward, but do not live here in the US. What countries are... <laughs> what? <laughs> Looking for a way to resurrect your hopes and dreams? Yes, finally. Though... We, we do have an extensive list of interesting and fun classes. No one will truly be able to hear your clipping depression and loss of self-worth. Oh. Okay, then. How do I sign up? Yes, thank you. In order to join SCC. <laughs> SCC. You must complete an application form and an easy, easy, easy iridocyclitis detailing your love for squid <laughs> but remember that grades here at SCC are very important and failure to keep them up will result in termination from extracurricular activities and even from the school itself oh my god I think you also get the chair <laughs> all right all right let's let's get back to the video my favorite pieces of engineering, and I want to show you how it works. I'm not quite sure how to take it apart, but I've got the manual to help me. Who needs the manual? Come on. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that's not in the manual. <laughs> what? I, I like this approach, though. Very nice. No animation no nothing you just take the thing apart and see how it works its inventor chester carlson demonstrated true innovation when he put together scientific phenomenon that no one before had ever related thank you chester for making this channel possible oh my god this guy is slaughtering that poor photocopier Carlson read patent after patent, searching for ideas. He learned of electrostatics, that's things that stick together because of static electricity, and photoconductivity, that's light causing current to flow, both of which are critical to the photocopier. <laughs> he spilled toner everywhere. Oh my god. This is the true father of the Chapacul YouTube channel. All right, I now have the four key elements. I, I think he has that tube with the other guy was talking about. There is an aluminum drum coated with a more Yes, the, the drum. A wire, which is used to deliver a high voltage. A 265 watt halogen lamp here. And then the very last item is toner course is what's all over my hands and nice all over the floor back here now let me explain how these work it takes five steps to make a copy first the machine sensitizes the drum by raising this wire to a potential of 850 volts relative to the drum this separates the air molecules between the wire and the drum into negative and positive ions which in turn creates a charge separation on the drum the insulated silica surface has a positive charge the aluminum interior negative second a very bright halogen lamp scans the image Black areas don't this must be the line. White non-image areas do. When the light strikes the drum, the silica surface becomes conductive and charge flows away, leaving only a charged image. Third, the machine wipes toner across the drum. Toner isn't ink. It's tiny particles made of plastic and carbon. Because it has a negative charge, the toner sticks only to the positive image on the drum. Fourth, the wire charges a piece of paper so it can attract the toner from the drum. Fifth, and finally, a heater in the copier melts the plastic in the toner to fuse the image to the paper. Mm. Come in. Okay, this was actually a pretty good explanation, and I think I'm starting to understand. So, the light that passes over the paper that you placed gets reflected somewhere inside of the photocopier, where it can charge this drum cylinder thingy. And when it becomes charged, it can attract toner particles that it will later place on paper. And because of the way light reflection works, the dark areas of the paper that you placed reflect less light than the white areas. And so the charge of the drum somewhat represents 
the paper that you placed. So the paper that comes out can have the same color differential. Becky oh. says you took the photocopier. Again. Oh, shit. <laughs> he I got caught. <laughs> well, so how does it work? So the drum goes down. I, I'm asking the same thing. And then there's a light that scans across the top. you know where to find the rest of the video. <laughs> so yeah, there's one mystery solved. Oh, and if you made it this far, please consider leaving a comment down below regarding what you think of this new type of content and how I could make it better. I'm planning on making more and your feedback and constructive criticism is much appreciated. Also, please consider joining our Discord server. The link is in the description. Well, see you next time.